Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Kylie Jenner drugstore everyday kind of makeup look with kind of a hint of glamour because we all know the Jenners and Kardashians are all about that glamour life. But yeah, this is um, probably one of my favourite looks. It's so natural and it's so easy to wear. So if you'd like to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. So first I'm going in and prepping my skin with the Body Shop Vitamin E Face Mist. And this is going to just prep and kind of moisturize my skin ready for all the makeup. And then I'm also putting some baby lips on my lips so they're also nice and moisturized um, by the time we go on to doing our lips. For primer I'm using one heck of a blot which is from Soap and Glory. And it's really nice and not drying on the skin which is why I quite like it. So I'm just putting this on the usual areas where my skin tends to get oily and just rubbing that in. For foundation I'm using the L'Oreal True Match in the shade 4D W and 5N and this gives me a really nice kind of yellowy natural undertone to my skin um, and it matches my skin basically and it does oxidize ever so slightly so it might look a little bit off right now when I'm putting it on my face but by the time it's all kind of had the time to settle into my skin it actually is a perfect match. And then I'm going on to concealing and highlighting. I'm using the usual. I was actually going to skip my base just because you guys have seen me do it so many times. But because this is like a drugstore makeup look, I wanted to include it all in and kind of give you guys the rundown of all the products that I use in case there are any new people watching this video so you guys get to know like the full shebang of what I do when I'm doing my makeup. So I'm just putting it in the usual areas that I like to highlight and then I'm blending that all away with my damp beauty blender which I did spray with the vitamin E spray before I went and blended it. And then I'm also taking the other end of the foundation side and using that to blend it all away. Then taking my Kikas Soap and Glory Powder, I'm kind of setting all those areas in place. And this gives a really nice kind of blurred effect underneath your eyes and wherever you put it in flash photography. But you always wanna make sure you're only putting a tiny bit amount, you don't need too much. Now taking this NYX Cream Contour Kit in the lightest shade, I'm taking the dark shade on the left hand side and using that to contour my face. And this is a really beautiful kind of cool toned brown, which is actually really nice. It was a little bit difficult to kind of get out of the palette, but once you get them like warm it up, you are good to go. I'm just contouring the usual areas of my face and then blending that all away with a stippling brush. And for some weird reason, this stippling brush just wanted to catch all my hairs and it was really annoying when I was blending it, but we got there in the end, so that's okay. <laughs> and I'm just making sure that everything's nice and blended away before I go on and kind of contour my nose. So I'm just using a smaller brush brush and making two lines on my nose and just contouring away and then blending everything out and before I do blend it out I do add a little bit more concealer just on the bridge of my nose and then blend it all away with my damp beauty blender. Now to set all the contour places I'm using this butter bronzer by Physicians Formula which smells incredible i love the way this smells i wish that it came in a bit of a darker shade but this is actually a really beautiful kind of everyday very natural bronze kind of color and especially on my skin i thought it wouldn't show up but it does give a really beautiful natural glow to your skin so Kylie recently looks like she wears a lot of like peachy tones. So I'm taking these two shades here from this Makeup Freedom palette and I'm popping those onto the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm not too sure whether she does wear a powder highlight, but I went in with one anyways, just to make my skin look really nice and glowy and healthy. And I'm using the Mary Luminizer here and I'm just using that on the usual areas that I like to highlight. So that's the tops of my cheeks. And then I'm also running that in very, very slightly into my eyebrow bone or eyebrow bone, eyebrow bone, but <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Um, and then the bridge of my nose and also my cupid's bow because that's just gonna help our lips look a little bit bigger, which is definitely what we want as this is a Kylie inspired look. Then I'm taking the Bourjois Healthy Balance Matte Powder and I'm kind of dusting that onto my face. And like you can see in a second here, I'm literally just tapping it and then just kind of blending away into my skin. I'm not adding like crazy amounts of product. This is just gonna set everything and make everything look really nice and blended in. Moving on to eyes, I'm using the Color Tattoo in Creme de Nude, and I'm putting that onto both of my eyelids as a nice base for the eyes. 
I personally wouldn't have actually worn eyeshadow um, because my eyelids are pigmented already and it looks kind of like the eyelids that Kylie has, but this I'm gonna show you what I do to make them look quite bronzy. So I'm taking the Kick-Ass powder again and just setting my eyelids in place and this is just gonna help the eyeshadows blend a lot better and it's just gonna have that extra staying powder. I'm taking the Maybelline's eyeshadow palette, I am taking this shade right here and first applying that onto my brow bone and this is just gonna add a really nice kind of matte bright highlight. Then I'm taking the butter bronzer and basically all we're going to do is we are going to layer this on to our eyelids and really build up the color. Um, it's not very like super super pigmented which is why I had to really build it up um, but it does create a really nice kind of naturally kind of pigmented eyelid if that makes sense. So here you can see me just going over the top of those areas and just building up that color until I'm happy with the way that it's looking and I did want to deepen it up a little bit so I'm taking this shade right here here and then basically just applying that on top of the area where we applied that butter bronzer and I'm just kind of layering it up until I'm happy with the shade and I wanted it to still look quite nice and kind of warm. Next up we are going to move on to that really nice like smoky winged eye that Kylie tends to do a lot. So I'm taking this shade here which is the perfect shade. I am basically drawing like a fake winged eye and I'm kind of using a um a pr the end of my primer and this is just going to act as a guide so you can basically like take this up and you can see exactly what you're doing and exactly where you need to add more products so here I've pretty much included all the clips of me applying this and as you can see it's quite a slow process but you really can build up the color and you can really kind of like intensify the areas that you want to intensify it you want to make sure that it's quite intense on like the outer kind of v area of your eye because that's where your wing's going to show the most. Um, here you can see me just deepening up that kind of area on both of the eyes to make sure I'm happy with the way that it's looking and that it's looking like a diffused smoky wing. Once I'm done with that I'm just taking a fluffy brush and just blending away the edges because we don't want them to look harsh, we want it to look very nice and diffused out. Moving on to brows, I'm going to fill them in with the Soap and Glory Archery in the shade Hot Chocolate and here you can see my eyebrows are done and to set them all in place I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Plumper and I'm just going through my eyebrow hairs with this and this is just going to lock them in place and it's just going to set everything as well. To line my upper waterline I'm using this Body Shop Velvet eyeliner in the shade Black and I'm just running this along my upper waterline and this is just going to help kind of like not have that weird line on your upper eyeliner because it can look a bit funny once you've got your mascara on and speaking of mascara I'm using the false lash sculpt mascara which is my current obsession and favorite mascara and I'm basically layering this on and putting it on my top lashes and also on my bottom lashes as well. I didn't actually put any falsies on for this look because Kylie tends to look like she's not wearing any falsies. Either she's just got some amazing like individuals on her eyes or if anything, she would probably be wearing the Ardell Demi Wispies because they are very natural. But for this look, I wanted to just kind of do a no false lashes makeup look <laughs> and then I'm taking this NYX wonder pencil in the shade medium and I'm just slightly lining my lower waterline and this is just going to kind of make that waterline pop a little bit it's very very slight it's nothing too major because this color is basically the same shade as my waterline anyways but it just kind of adds that extra kind of um I don't know I just I just really wanted to do it so um yeah once I'm done with that we're moving on to the lips here I'm using East End Snob Lip Liner by Rimmel and I'm not only lining my lips but also filling them in and this is just going to give us a really good base and this is a gorgeous kind of nudie pink shade and it's super matte and it's quite beautiful it's probably my favorite lip liner of all time I've gone through like eight or ten of these then taking the NYX suede in the shade Sandstorm I am got going to basically just put that all over the top of my lips and it was looking a little bit kind of too cool so then on top of that I did add Abu Dhabi um lip cream by NYX and this kind of created that perfect kind of nudie peachy kind of color for my lips which I felt like matched Kylie's pretty well and to set everything in place I'm just putting the same vitamin E spray all over my face and that you guys is the end of the drugstore Kylie Jenner inspired everyday with a hint of glamour makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I've been wanting to do an updated Kylie Jenner makeup look for ages because my last one was definitely how she like used to wear it and now she's kind of 
like really into the more kind of natural look so i really hope you guys enjoyed it please leave me comments of what videos you would like me to do next and i guess that's all for now you guys and i'll see you all in my next video bye